Happy New Year, Saints. I hope you had an awesome break. I'm Liliana Becker. And I'm Lily Eastman. And, and this, this is SFHS, SFHS Today. Today. In world news, the Taliban has suspended university education for women in Afghanistan. According to AFP, Afghan women gathered in Kabul and said they were condemned to a life feeling like caged birds. The weather just before the holiday break has been called a once in a generation winter storm that was expected to impact every state and cripple Christmas travel, according to CNN. Locally, St. Francis area schools handled the forecast by moving to a one hour early release on Wednesday, December 21st and canceling classes on Thursday, December 22nd. The decision was made in the morning and calls and emails went out across the entire district early on Wednesday. In student council news, another victim of the weather was movie night at the high school, which was canceled. However, community night took place on December 16th and was a huge success. Lily and I spoke to Sophie Edwards, who put it all together. So community night went really well. Um, we had actually a good amount of attendance. Um, we had activities like we had a fun fishing game with gift bags, which we ran out of all of them. We had about 100. We ordered cookies for kids to decorate. We ran out of those. We had stands for ornaments um, and a reading corner, and MCSU came and showed up as well to make buttons and beat games. Looks like it went well. In other news, because of the recent frigid temperatures, it is important to know about winter vehicle maintenance. Yeah, I've been worried about the cold weather affecting my vehicle. Here are some tips from Easton Johnson, Carter Bartell, and Taylor Wilson about how you can prepare for the winter weather. I'm Easton. I'm Carter. And because it's getting cold out, we figured we'd tell you what you should have in your vehicle during the wintertime season. So starting it off, you should have decent amount of tread in your tires for the winter time, help for maximum grip. So this tire, as you can see, is about halfway through the head, which is perfect. These are pretty brand new tires, so that's what you want. Over here, it's about the exact opposite. You can bear, it's barely full in the quarter. Um, not optimal for winter. You'll slide around a lot and just not good for winter performance. It's also nice to have some newer windshield wipers or ones that work well, because if it's snowing, it's gonna suck trying to see through it. So uh, windshield wipers will help you out seeing while it's snowing. It's optimal if you could to have a four wheel drive vehicle. It's not necessary, but it makes it a whole lot easier. Next thing is jumper cables and an ice scraper. So you'll be able to see through your windows and in the cold, your battery can die. Next thing is to have optimal tow hooks in case you get end up in the ditch, somebody can pull you out. And that's all you need in your car for the winter time. Drive safe, Saints. Wow, now I can prevent my car from breaking down. In other news, as the new year has people reflecting on their resolutions and changes they might wish to make, the PBIS system has been a topic of conversation. We worked with reporters Arthur Nagus and Jonas Stoffel to find out if there might be any changes in store for this system meant to celebrate Saints Pride. I'm Liliana and I'm here with Nathaniel Esbolt to ask him about the PBIS blue ticket system. So our first question is, are the blue tickets good incentive for you to display positive behavior? I feel like the overall like system idea is good, but not a lot of teachers hand them out, so it kind of defeats the purpose. How many PBIS tickets do you give out in a week? Anywhere from like 10 to 20. Have you seen a noticeable increase in positive behavior since the PBIS drawings have started? Um, I think we've always had really good positive behavior here. I think it's now um, you know, being called out, which is great, and the kids seem to really appreciate that. I feel like when I've seen them given out in past years, yes, they have been giving them out for the right reasons. I've also seen positive behavior where kids will tell another kid, hey, stop running in the hallway, or they'll be out in the flex area, and I see them pick up bottles or trash off the floor, and so for me, that's, you know, needs to be called out as well. Are there incentives for teachers to give out PBIS blue tickets? Um, yep, so at the end of the month when they do their grand um, prize drawing, um, generally they all the teachers that have been put in there get put in for a prize as well. One of our days where we had meetings all day, I think it was the day before Thanksgiving, we um, had drawings and they had wreaths that were given out to teachers. So, um, you know, if teachers like to win prizes, there's an incentive there. Is there anything that holds a teacher back in giving out blue tickets when positive behavior is being consistently shown? Um, I don't think they hold back teachers. I think teachers, just like we're all human, sometimes we forget like to address that positive behavior. Um, and so I think we just really need to work on it um, overall. Over the past weeks, we have given some insight into some departments and what they may be offering for upcoming registration. This week, Michael Preiner and Luke Schultz turn a spotlight on the business department. 
Hi, I am Ms. Schrag and I'm a business and marketing teacher at St. Francis High School. One of our most fun and exciting classes that we offer here is a class called DECA. It's really taken off with our new space here at the school, um, our DECA dugout. And in this class of DECA, we get to design a new product every single trimester to offer, sell in our school store. So I teach Futures Prep, which is the required ninth grade class, so all ninth graders will take that. Another class that I teach is called Futures Prep Finale. This is another elective that is open to all seniors. In Futures Prep Finale, um, we look at two big things. So the first thing we take a look at is thinking about where do you want to go to college? What do you want to go to college for? How are you going to afford college? And what will you major in? We will also take a look at employment readiness. In this class, we will prepare living documents, such as a resume, a cover letter, you will go on a mock interview and follow up with a thank you letter. And then now I'm teaching personal finance, which I love teaching. So we're gonna cover everything from making money to investing it. Another class that I offer is called Small Business Management. So this is again is an elective class and we will take a look at how do managers run their business. And I also will have sports and entertainment marketing come try three. So there we'll learn about marketing through the lens of um, entertainers and musicians and sport athletes and those types of people. And the last class that I offer is called keyboarding. Now we've all been on a keyboard before, right? Since we've been little kids, but this is a class that we will learn how to type from home row without looking at our keys. Thanks for that information. As students register for future classes, the Career Center also wants to inform seniors about scholarship opportunities and applications that will soon be open. Cheyenne Hannah interviewed Thea Sveal and Don Abraham about deadlines and information. I do many things. Primarily, I am in charge of enrollments, transcripts for students to go to colleges, and then also our entire scholarship program from start to finish. When are the scholarship applications coming out? Um, they'll be coming out January 13th, um, available both online and also in the counseling office. Um, when are they due? They will be due on March 13th, um, so that will be following spring break. So if kids want to work on them during spring break, they can, um, but that'll be the due date. I have a lot of information on FAFSA. FAFSA is the free application for federal student aid. And um, I've got lots of handouts, I've got resources. Um, and if students have any questions on FAFSA, they can come see me and get those questions answered. What kind of scholarships are they? Are they for something specific, like a specific major or minor? Um, they're really for all students. There's a variety pack. Some are. Some are for tech students, medical students, kids in a sport, but the majority are for all students. I've got lots of information on college. I have lots of information on scholarships, on apprenticeships, on different career opportunities, on colleges. So really, if students have questions on anything having to do with life after high school, um, I would say come see me or check out your um, MCIS account. Now, now let's, let's pass, pass it over to sports. Hey, 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 Saints, I'm Brooke McDaniel. And I'm Michaela Rothbauer. And, and this, this is sports. In national sports news, Franco Harris, former Steeler and Hall of Famer, died at age 72. In school sports news, this was our first conference doubleheader game on Thursday against Chisago. Emma and Emily caught up with the wrestling team and how the season is going. How's your season going so far? Good. I just got back from the Christmas tournament where I took fifth place, and my current record is 11 and two, and I'm ninth in the state. Oh, uh, I'm 11 and one. I'm 10 and two. Are there any different duties being a captain? Yeah, you just gotta like step up, be more of a leader, and uh, just uh, make the younger kids look up to you. Girls hockey plays at home against Princeton today and away against Anoka on Thursday. They will also be playing in Grand Rapids on Friday. Reports went out to learn more about Ski Club and what it has to offer. How long have you been skiing for? Uh, about four years. Yeah, about four years. Uh, five years. What's your favorite part about Ski Club? Uh, I like coming here and hanging out with my friends all night. Ripping the slopes with the boys, hitting fat jumps.
because I get to go skiing with the boys. That's all we have this week, and now back to Maine. Thanks, Michaela and Brooke. Before we go, we have a little tradition here at SFHS Media. We want to wish you a Merry Saints Miss. On the twelfth day of Saints, Miss St. Saint Francis gave to me. Twelve seniors skipping, eleven sophomores sleeping, ten freshmen freezing, nine juniors jumping, eight students stopping, seven singers singing, six students singing, five dancers dancing. Four wrestlers wrestling, three teachers teaching, two principals preaching, and a more directing. Happy New Year and stay warm, Saints!